Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today is Saturday and I'm just so excited to do another painting tutorial for all of you. And you know, when I do these tutorials, I also do something for myself because it's time for me to just chill and you know, uh, really focus on something that is um, not work or not related to anything or anyone else except me. So here are the colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial. What am I saying? <laughs> so I'll be doing a landscape today. I'm just so, so excited. So the colors will be listed in the description box below. Here are the colors. We have burnt sienna, titanium white, black, lemon yellow, primary blue, and orange. So I'm gonna underpaint first my canvas. And for the underpainting, we'll be coloring first the sky and the ground. So before we do some trees. So we'll be doing a pathway with some trees. It's like a park, uh, a park with some trees and a pathway. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the sky first and for the sky. Oh, by the way, I'm using a 10 by 14 inches canvas board. So if you want to get yourselves uh the same size of canvas or any material that you want to paint on you can um follow the size that i have and if you don't want to have a smaller size or a small size just like mine this is relatively small by the way you can get yourselves a proportionate uh canvas size proportionate to the 10 by 14 inches canvas board all right so i'm gonna do the sky first and i'll be using some blue and I'll be adding a little bit of black and white. So it's like dark blue color. It's not super bright. And this is the background, so I want it to be a little darker. Anyway, I'm just gonna do the sky first. Right, and it's gonna extend right here up to here. I'm not really concerned about you know my my brush strokes. I'm not really concerned just yet because again we're doing the background, so nothing so serious just yet. All right, just like that, and I can. I may choose not to wash my brush anymore and let's just proceed to underpainting um, the, the ground or the foreground. So I'll be using some burnt sienna. I'll be mixing that with the blue color so that, um, you know, it adds a little more interest um, to the color. I'll be adding a little bit of black. This is again the underpainting. So don't worry too much if it's not the right color just yet. Okay, I'll be using this color to underpaint the foreground. I also have with me, like I also have beside me a hair dryer so that if I want to make things dry a little quicker, I can easily do that with a hair dryer. You don't have to do that if you're at home just watching me paint. You can simply pause the video and return to it when the paint is dry. All right, maybe this would do. Okay, now I'm gonna identify where the pathway is gonna go. So I'll be changing my brush. Oh, sorry about this one. My, my paint tube just got dipped into the paint. Anyway, I'll be using a thinner brush. I'll be getting my black and white. Okay, street sounds again. I'll be adding brown. 
but make sure that black is more dominant i'm using mars black i actually don't like mars black but that's the black that is that was available at the time when i bought my paints mars black because it's not super black and i really like super black paints i don't know to each his own but i just love i don't like mars black that much anyway i'm gonna work with what i have here so i'm gonna identify where the pathway is gonna go and remember that when we're doing pathways and nature we should respect perspective if you want it to make it to make it look realistic so i'll be hmm maybe this or maybe this okay so it's like a pathway it's just imagine yourself do, drawing a triangular um, thing Just like that. Mm. All right, just like that. And I'm gonna color it with the same color that I chose for the sketch. So imagine drawing a volcano. <laughs> Again, this is the underpainting. Okay, why is it so noisy outside? So noisy. All right, this is the underpainting for the pathway. I know that it does not make sense at the moment, but you have to trust me on this one. All right, now, since we're at it already, we're using the Mars Black Brown combination. Okay, I'm just going to do some tree trunks. I know that for now, it's not making any, any sense. But again, you have to trust me on this one. So for that, I'll be identifying first where the sidewalks are going to go. And I'm just gonna draw a tree. So those trees that are near you should be bigger and those and as we go farther um, the trees would look smaller even if in reality they're not really that small only visually all right so okay I'm going to do the tree right here so that we we actually balance things already by identifying where things where things are gonna go okay don't make or my suggestion is for you not to do straight lines for the trees because it will not look natural and as much as possible we want our objects in the painting to look more natural especially that we're doing nature Okay, those are the first two trees side by side. I mean, on opposite ends. Okay, I'm gonna do the next tree trunk right beside it. For now, they're gonna appear like close to each other, close to each other um, because of the same color. But later when we do the highlighting and we do some um dark or contrast contrasting colors then we will be um, adding some perspective for now let's just do the underpainting for each tree trunk all right just like that okay later it will be covered i, do, I just don't want to cover it now 
because I want you to see where things are going. Okay, next decided. All right, just color it. Just don't forget where the separation lines are because uh, we don't want them to be uh, not identifiable. Okay, and as we go, <clears throat> again, you don't want to make your tree trunks look so straight. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna um, add some detailing. It will be covered with foliage, any with uh, with leaves anyway. For now, let's just make sure that they're there, even if we all know that it will be covered with paints. Let's just make sure that it's there because somehow it's gonna show. It's gonna pick through the leaves. Okay, somehow later. Just continue doing some um, tree trunks. Okay, later we will be adding more perspective. Okay, let's just add a little bit of hints of distant tree trunks okay without pressing too hard on the canvas just allow the brush to do its job don't control it too much all right just like that okay now, i want to allow the paint to dry first before i proceed to doing some more detailing now let's go back to the soil to the soil I'm gonna get my brown, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. Okay, maybe a little bit of this color, like maybe this, more ye orange, yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna add white. Let's try to create colors. This is the second, I call it second underpainting because definitely not yet the final, you know, the final colors.
right and I'm gonna make it more gray I'm just adding white to the colors of the uh, pathway and I'm gonna apply that color right here on the left side because the light is coming from the left side okay just a little bit of a highlight just to kickstart everything because we're starting to build uh, build the paints to get some image out of this abstract initial stage all right okay i'm gonna allow that first to dry okay now okay, using the same brownie color i'm gonna start highlighting the left side of each um tree trunk Using the same color for the soil, all right? Just the left side. We're starting to highlight it. I will use my palette knife later. For now, let's just um, do some initial highlighting. So everything you see here is very preliminary to the final look of the painting. Everything is just building itself. Okay. And again, highlight the left side. Okay, I'm gonna get some tiny bit of white just to add more highlights. All right, so you can see here I'm trying to do more techniques highlighting the trees i'm spreading some water down paints on the tree trunks mm -hmm. just like that now i'm getting my burnt sienna Mm -hmm. my burnt sienna just burnt sienna okay. you want to make sure that this brown is still present because everything is mixed Okay, now I'm getting some gray color, getting some black and white. Just get some gray. And using some gray, I'm gonna remove the excess paint from the gray, and I'm gonna start applying that randomly on the tree trunks, especially on the left side. gonna dry brush a bit just to give the 
some tree trunks perspective already. Again, the distant trees are appearing more light. Okay, I'm getting my Mars black, pure black. Just repaint some areas that got painted over because we were starting to highlight the trees. You can add more like distant trees just to cover the background. You want to make sure that it looks like a thick um, forest. All right, using this um, black, I'm going to start doing some little shadows forming. Sure. I'm going to add a little bit of a hint of black on the soil part right. okay i'm gonna allow this first to dry let's move to the leaves so for the leaves i'm just gonna use my ordinary brush okay maybe i'm gonna use all right a stiffer brush because we want to create the patterns of leaves so i'm gonna get my blue and my yellow create some green I'll be adding a little bit of brown to tone down the colors again we don't want super green bright green here so in order for the color to tone to be toned down just add brown or burnt sienna and I'm just gonna use this brush to create first layers of leaves my advice is just don't be scared when you're doing this because because you can actually paint over it it's not gonna hurt you or anything like that it's just paint so just apply that color but as you can see here I'm just dabbing I'm just dabbing I'm not really slapping colors just dab okay also right here For now, just fill in the spaces because we want to make sure that everything is like full and um, like a thick forest.
Okay, now I'm getting my brown and black mixture. We're going to add a little bit of this color. very randomly on the leaves because again natural trees okay have uh, dead leaves on them so it cannot be just pure green it cannot be just pure yellow and all that it cannot be perfect it should be a little imperfect now I'm gonna get my yellow and mix it with you know whatever paint that is left on my paintbrush you know it's just gonna work so we're starting to build all right I know that for now it looks um, a little cartoonish for now but I'm gonna do my best to make it look uh, the way I want it to look. Right. Okay, I'm going to add white to that to that color maybe add more yellow just the lighter version just go ahead add some highlights so not every part of the trees will be highlighted because highlights are not supposed to be all over the all over the subject they are supposed to only highlight certain parts. That's why they, they're called highlights. Because if you just highlight everything, then there's no perspective. It's all flat. Okay, I'm going to apply some of that. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow and white okay just build I'm just trying to build here and in all honesty I don't know what time I'm gonna finish this but um, I don't mind spending a little extra time on this one because why not I mean it's Saturday Now I'm getting my black. Let's go back to black because we want to make sure that there are still negative spaces going on uh, right here. We don't want it to be just green. We want some shadows and contrast. We want that negative spaces. So just bringing it back. For those areas that got painted over, I'm just bringing back some dark colors. Okay. I'll be using a more pointy brush to do some branches so I'll be getting my black again and I'll just go ahead and create some suggestion of tree branches and of course some depth right here
Okay, let's add some more suggestion of tree branches, okay, just like that. And all right. Okay, definitely I'll go back to this. Let's move on to the soil part because I think it's pretty dry. We can layer over it now. So for the soil part, I'm just going to lighten it a bit. So I'll be getting the same orangey color. Okay, I'll be adding yellow, and brown, and white. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna highlight the the soil, but I'm not smudging. Okay, I'm just doing it the way I did the leaves. I'm just like like that, tapping. Okay, so that I create some texture, because if you just uh, just like that, you're not really creating texture. You're just painting over it. I will use my palette knife later. Okay. I know that some knows, I mean some people know that you know palette knife would be really really effective, but I want to start first with my paintbrush. Okay. Okay. And I'll be getting my dark brown and I'm going to apply it just to leave some or just to give it more dimension you want to make sure that there are some hints of dark browns all right just like that and we're going to do the same thing on uh, the left side we're not smudging it Later, when I go with the smaller details, I'll be more slow. Okay. I'm fast because, um, I mean, I'm relatively fast doing this because I'm just doing the layering. Okay. You want to make sure that everything is colored. Right. Okay, now using the same brownie color orangey color i'm gonna add white to that so that we do some highlighting especially um, for the distant part of the pathway and a little bit of that highlights I'm gonna get my white you know I'm not really washing my brush as you can see I try not to wash it too much or too often because I want the colors the presence of other colors in our palette to be present in almost all areas of the painting to give it um, coherence and um, To give it coherence and of course uh, like oneness of the painting all right I'm gonna lighten the farthest um, point so I'm gonna mix my gray and white I'm not washing my brush so there will be presence of other colors I'm gonna add like that maybe i'm gonna add what water i'm just gonna spread it right here 
All right, just like that. Lightening the farthest point. Okay, again, just lighten. Let me check. Okay. So I'm going to get some light colors. I want to make sure that it's light in the background. So I'm just inserting some of that color right here. This is just a just suggestion of light okay there could be other things in the background it's up to you to imagine it all right and of course some highlights I'm getting some yellow. Okay. And then some brown yellow. Right. Now I'm getting some blue, okay? Surprisingly. I'll be getting some blue and I want to mix with some brown and yellow. But the most dominant color will be blue. Okay, I want to add some blue bluey color in the background of like somewhere um, along I mean somewhere here. like um, turquoise colors just a hint of it not too much just a hint of it just make sure that that color is present okay now okay I'm gonna darken the corners of my 
canvas because uh, we want to make sure that we are framing it visually we want the viewer to look at the center of the painting more than anywhere else okay, so it's just framing it okay and let me just fix some areas Now I'm going to go back to the pathway because we kind of lost the pathway. Again, I'm just making the leaves appear more full. Right. Using my brown, I'm just going to dab some watered down browns here and there so that I get more texture natural looking texture actually and I'm gonna slap some of that watered down brown on the trees as well Okay, just like that. We will do more work on the leaves. I'll be getting my fan brush. So this is actually a good tool to, you know, to create more leaves. So I'm, go I'm not going to wet my fan brush. I'm just going to dab onto my yellow and green mixture and start. start creating some more leaves okay I'm gonna add white to my existing yellow and add brown Just to just dab and use the tip of the brush.
Oops, it's too white, sorry. I think I used too much white. Anyway, I'm just gonna make it work for me since I already have it there. So why not? I'm gonna get my black. Again, don't forget the negative spaces. Okay, I need more yellow. So using some yellow, and I wanna do some more light, light effect. I'm gonna get my yellow, and I'm gonna add white. And using this color, I'm just gonna apply some of that on the soil. Because I really want to make it appear like the light is hitting the, the soil. Okay, I'm gonna do some glazing effect like that. And also on the tree trunks. By just glazing it, we don't overdo this step. I'm gonna um, cover a little bit of this side. Some brown yellows. Okay. So I just keep on layering when it comes to the foliage because uh, I want the leaves to look up or to appear more full. And I'm gonna lighten this area since the light is coming from the left side, it should be brighter right here. I'm gonna get my white and I'm just gonna slap some light colors right there to make it appear more bright like as we go further away it becomes a little light or bright sorry not light Let me check. All right. I'm going to get my palette knife. So 
I'm just gonna use the back of the palette knife so I'm gonna use the back so you can see here the palette knife that I have it's quite uh, filled with <laughs> dried acrylics but it doesn't matter to me as long as I can use it as long as it does the job for me then it's all good so I'm gonna get my brown and white and yellow so I'm just gonna mix it to get the mixed colors together to create some browny white yellowy color I'm gonna use the back of the palette knife I'm gonna add a little bit of black just to tone down the color I feel like it's too browny and yellowy and I'm gonna use this now to create some patterns on the trees so I'm gonna just swipe to the right So allow the palette knife to create the texture um, for the trees. Don't stress too much about this. It should look spontaneous. It should look natural. You, you don't need to control the flow of the palette knife. I mean, you can, but you should not. I suggest that you don't. And I'm also, I'm just highlighting the left side. I'm not really highlighting um, everything. All right, now I'm gonna get my black. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the trees. So just, oops, it's too thick. Just to give it some negative spaces. Just like that. I'm going to create some suggestion of three branches that are peeking through the, the foliage or the leaves. I'm gonna make the pathway a little more rough you know it's it's like paved but um, it's a little rougher compared to you know com perfectly paved um, pathway Okay, I really want to work more on the foliage. So I'm adding a little bit of yellows here and there. So a little bit of browns.
So I'm just um, covering the space between the tree trunks. So I'm getting my blue and we want to make this part of the pathway a little blue looking. Actually it's more of a blue green color. We want to make sure that it appears lighter. Just be careful with that step because you might overpaint it or you might paint over it. Adding a little bit of white on the soil. To give it more light. Also on the trees, just add tiny bits of white. To highlight it even further, again, you don't want to do that to each and every part of the trees. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna apply some water down black because I want to make sure that there are negative spaces in between foliage you don't want to miss that
I'm gonna get a little bit of orange, just a little bit of that color. You don't wanna do that too much, just a little bit. Right here a little bit of orange you know the technique is just a little bit of something okay and some light greens I'm gonna add more white. Just to emphasize light. Gonna lighten the distant leaves, applying some water down white. Just to make it appear more distant. Let me check. Alright, this is good. Okay. I'm gonna apply some yellow. I'm gonna water it down. Just apply some yellow. Okay, I'm just filling in those spaces that okay I'm gonna add a little bit of greeny color on the soil 
because you know there are some like tiny grasses growing in there could be anything so I'm gonna add a little bit of green here and there not too much but it should be present mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to use my hair dryer just to dry things quickly. Alright, and then I'm going to use for the final touch. gonna use some white all right very subtle very subtle just like that okay I think this is good this is good guys so I'm just gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna you know me I'm just gonna add a little bit of something here and there to make the trees look more nice mm -hmm. I like it Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of like grasses right there. It could be anything. Just to make sure that it's balanced because this space is already filled. So we have a lot of holes right here. So we might as well fill in those spaces. Wow, this is nice. All right, so I'm going to sign this now. For my signature, I'm just going to sign right here. All right. Okay, so I think this is done. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you do this one as well. If you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this painting, let me know in the comment section below. Happy Saturday and... Love you!